Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another TMNT video, and today we got the brand new Target exclusive Cartoon 2-pack featuring Mighty Hog and Rhino Man from a very interesting one-off episode. It's quite the hunger dunger of an episode in which Jay Gordon Hunger Dunger, one of the richest men in New York, has a contest to find the world's greatest superhero, and Bebop and Rocksteady suit up and take on the challenge. Here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode as well. You can find them at Target stores now. So, this is going to be an absolute bonkers blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new cartoon TMNT 2-pack featuring Rhino Man and his faithful sidekick Mighty Hog by NECA Toys. And while I got all you Rhino Nose and Warthog Mans here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my TMNT videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Look at all these Bebops and Rocksteady. Stay tuned. I got more to talk about because here's everything out of the packaging. You get a nice bevy of accessories and basically you get two new figures, which is awesome. First and foremost is this police scanner straight from the cartoon episode and if you look at it colors are a little bit wonky but it is the police scanner shredder can hold it so if you have that first wave of figures well, you're completing the episode right keep note of the antenna it goes every which way there is no continuity for this police scanner it's hilarious but for the sake of this accessory it's right there on the top it's got all the buttons nicely painted. You get a couple extra hands for Rhino Man, all done in red. He's got the peace sign, and Mighty Hog does the same thing as well. Now, this accessory right here is from Unbridled Technologies. This is the Anxiatron Ray from the episode Bebop and Rocksteady Conquer the Universe. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not from Rhino Man's episode, of course, but it's beautiful. It's done amazingly, and if you have this... Bebop and Rocksteady sets, you can have either Bebop or Rocksteady hold it. And it basically just gives everybody anxiety and they take over New York for a little bit, which is really funny. Everybody freaks out. But I mean, look at the details. It's got wires. It's painted beautifully. They did not need to put that much work into there. But you also have a really cool figure in Rhino Man. Very simplistic. Painted Fairly well. There's a couple hiccups here and there, especially with the black line work. You got the Rhino Man symbol right there. On the back side, each of them come with their jet packs, which you can remove and install at your leisure, right? So those are done nicely. They simply just as fix. And in a nice touch of episode continuity, go ahead, push that red button, and you're off. Now with Rocksteady, he does come with a pair of his goggles, which are removable. Once you get them around the ears and situated, you really don't need to take them off again. But as you can see, yeah, he has removable goggles, which they're done nice. Just be careful of the strap. Over time, I have my reservations about it. He's got an open and closed mouth. It's okay. I mean, having a little extra articulation is always nice. Seems like the jaw is off. Right there is a good sweet spot. Or just have it stay closed. Nothing mind-blowing in the articulation. It's all very fluid. But I'm going to tell you right now, heat each of these guys up. Just watch the cape. Of course, he's got this big fabric cape where you can throw it over his head, just like in the episode when they're zooming around New York and the joke throughout the entire episode is they keep crashing into anything. I'm not even able to move the knees. Those are frozen solid. So I'm going to have to definitely heat mine up. But regardless of that, it's a nice looking figure, as is Mighty Hog. He looks great. Nice little Bebop figure right here. His hair, I thought, well, that's kind of weird. Purple to a brown. Eh, go watch the episode. Totally does that. NECA is good about picking out all these weird nuances of the cartoon show, especially in size, as you'll soon see. Bebop also has an articulated mouth, which, yeah, right about there. Looks pretty darn good. You got the shells on his arms. He's got the M for the Mighty Hog. It just looks good. It's a bonkers episode. Just please watch it if you haven't, right? You've got metal chains on one side. Those will come off when you switch out the hands. He actually moves a little bit more, we'll just say, instead of 
heating them up right away. But again, just be careful. Same removable flight pack, red cloth cape. It's a total one-off episode, right? But of course, NECA made these. And that is the epitome of the fun of this line. Now, one accessory I think they should have come with are their guns. If you have the prior release Bebop and Rocksteady, you can use these guns. But it would have been nice to pack those in as well. And just to kind of see, yeah, this is not NECA Toys' first foray into the cartoon Bebop and Rocksteady. We have the originals right here. We have their robotic counterparts. I mean, we got a lot of Bebop and Rocksteady going on. This is not necessarily a set you need, right? Unless you're collecting them all and you're insane like me, then yeah, you totally do. And I like right here, Rhino Man is a little bit shorter than the standard Rocksteady, as is Bebop. But if you watch the cartoon, the size makes no difference, especially when they're talking to the turtles, it fluctuates. Sometimes they're as small as the turtles, sometimes they're humongous, towering over the turtles. It makes no sense. The show makes no sense. But dang, are these toys a lot of fun. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new cartoon TMNT, Rhino Man and Mighty Hogs 2-pack from NECA Toys. And as always, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything at Cartoon at TMNT. How's everyone doing on their cartoon collection so far? Is everyone up to date? Which ones are you missing? I'd like to do something on my Instagram coming up where I see everybody's cartoon TMNT collection. I think that would be a lot of fun. Let me know as well if you're interested in participating. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember all these different Bebops and Rocksteadies and pirates and superheroes and whatnot and uh, yeah these are the two that kicked it all off pretty fun huh weapons and all you can't go wrong as simplistic as they were these were a lot of fun and they're my originals and when they do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios mm -hmm.